So in case you haven't noticed, there's been a bit of a change in the world and especially the fitness industry recently. As of Friday, as of when I'm recording this video, all gyms in the UK were shut um, and we don't know how long they're shut for. So we're getting a lot of people enter or try to enter the online fitness world. And what I wanted to talk about in this video you believe of all the situations where it might happen when everyone's supposed to be in self-isolation a really noisy tractor drives past the window just as I press record so we're getting a lot of people enter or try to enter the online fitness world and Yusuf and I are kind of watching this from a distance obviously we formally help a lot of personal trainers ourselves as part of our pro pay business program but we're watching a lot of people do things that as far as we can see and as far as our experience has been over the last decade are probably gonna end up being quite damaging to the brand, both offline and online. So in this video, I wanna to present to you what we've been teaching to our clients, which is a two-phase strategy that you can put in place if you're a personal trainer or a coach, you work in the fitness industry in any way, that'll hopefully just mitigate the damage that you might already be seeing or have seen, and also take advantage of the situation or find a silver lining in the situation without necessarily just joining the crowds and doing what everyone else is doing. So the first thing is obviously damage limitation. Now, some of this is gonna be unavoidable. We're not gonna be able to remove or stop all damage to businesses, I think every industry and every business in the world is going to be affected, some positively, some negatively. But I don't think there's anywhere or any anyone in any business that will not see some level of impact from what's happening at the moment. So I think the first thing in damage limitation is just self-management, mindset management. And I know that sounds really vague and a bit woo-woo, but the reality is you are and you and your thoughts are the only things that you can really control in a situation like this. We have no certainty over what the government's gonna do, no certainty over how long things will stay closed or how long any of this will last. So I think the first thing is really to come to terms with that fact and accept that, yes, you can try things, yes, you can be proactive in the situation, but there are going to be things that happen over the next week, month, or however long this lasts that might not be that great. And I think the people who come out of this better will be better prepared from an emotional and a mindset perspective. In terms of how to do that, it's pretty difficult, right? I can't just give you one simple tip to improve your mindset. But something I've always found is getting thoughts and feelings out of my head and onto paper in some way, whether that's a journaling practice or even if it's just writing things down and, and evaluating, you know, what what's going on? What am I unhappy about? What can I do about it? What am I gonna do today? What am I gonna do tomorrow? Rather than just sitting with those thoughts ruminating in your head, I think that's always a really helpful strategy. So if you're not sure where to begin with mindset management, obviously self-development is an endless world. Um, but that's probably something that I would start to do if you're not already. The next piece of this is actually more uh, strategic or tactical in your business. So I'm going to assume that most of you watching this probably have some clients, whether they're offline or online. And I think what everyone expects is that your clients will be panicking and they probably are. Um, but if they see you panicking or they see you being uncertain, they will notice that and that will affect their relationship with you, whether it's conscious or not. What we look for in a coach, whether it's a personal trainer or a business coach or a mindset coach or anything, is certainty, right? We wanna be led, we want some positivity, we want at the moment someone who has a plan, right? We want someone who's being proactive about the situation. And if you can be that for your clients without them even having to ask for it, they will probably see you as a source of calm in a world of pretty much chaos at the moment. So something that I suggest to all our clients and something that we've done with all our clients is just Give them a plan without them even asking for it. Be the person who's checking in on them, making sure they're okay. Be the person who is proactively coming up with solutions to problems that are evolving every single week. If you are sat there going, oh, I don't know, well, my client's gonna cancel, they'll probably wanna leave, and you assume they're going to leave, that's probably gonna maximize the chance of them leaving. If you assume that your clients just continue to wanna coach regardless of whether they have to train inside for a while or not, they probably will stay with you. So be proactive be positive and have a plan that adapts and reacts to your client situation and to the situation that the country or the world is in at the moment. Obviously, from a tactical perspective, most people are going to need bodyweight workouts, home workouts, make them interesting and make them as exciting as possible, right? Some of that can, some of that stuff can be a bit boring. There is inherently less variety. It is more difficult to get up off the sofa and motivate yourself, especially when things are kind of changing around you. So make things as interesting as possible. Don't just give your clients press ups and body weight squats because that can be done without equipment. Final strategy, which I see a lot of personal trainers doing with their existing offline clients, which I think is a great approach, is to actually just have the sessions run as normal, right? There are bits of software, Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, that allow you to video call your client largely for free. 
So host the session as normal with you sat there motivating them. If they feel like they have a session with you every Saturday at 11 a.m. and that's stopped happening, that's another piece of their routine that's fallen out of the way. So get those sessions done, just use a different medium. Okay, it doesn't necessarily matter that you aren't in person with them for the next few weeks. All right, but if you're still there motivating them, you're still calling them and making sure it's still happening, again, they'll probably really value that. The second piece of this or the second approach in the strategy is obviously a business pivot. So we don't know how long this is gonna last for. And a lot of coaches are realizing that, recognizing that, and everyone thinks they have to be the next Joe Wicks or online coach in order for them to make the most of this situation. We have seen a big spike in demand for fitness coaching inquiries in Propin Fitness. We've seen a big spike in opt-ins through uh, various ways that people can get on our email list. And I think the thing that I really wanna get try and get home in this video is that apart from giving away one free bodyweight program, we've not done anything different in our marketing or in our, business, in our business strategy. And I think really coming to terms with the fact that just because there's been a shift in the market doesn't mean the rules of selling online coaching or building an online business have changed. So yes, there are a lot more people trying to do it now who are trying to sell bodyweight programs or sell like a COVID-19 survival plan which I can see the logic and I can see how someone's arrived at that decision. But realistically, you can get a bodyweight program for free online in two to three seconds with, it, with one use of Google. So no one's gonna pay you for that. And also probably no one's gonna be that interested in paying for something super short term that's a COVID-19 survival plan who then plans to stay with you. So the people who are doing this and positioning their business in this way, yes, they may make some short term cash, but I think realistically what they're also doing is killing their opportunities and killing their chances for this to be something that slingshots them into further growth going forward. Because really what you, in my view you should be doing at this time is seeing this as a bit of an alarm clock. So something has happened that's illustrated an aspect of your business that's fragile to external circumstances. Now, no business has no threats or uh, potential weaknesses in its operation. But as an offline coach, suddenly if your clients can't get to the gym, you've realized I don't necessarily have a way to get more clients or I'm not very flexible in that way. Building a super short term panic based offer that's a PDF or Facebook group isn't really the best way to pivot your business. So my suggestion is instead of thinking, how can I get something up as quickly as possible? That's just preying on people's kind of fear and uncertainty and trying to sell a bodyweight program or sell something that's largely given away for free. How about use this as a time to build something that might still exist when all this stuff is finished? There'll be two types of coach that leave this situation and you really have an opportunity to be on the better side of the equation just by taking some different actions. So everyone's in the same situation, right? Every personal trainer pretty much around the world is dealing with the same circumstances. And some people are panicking going super short term and there are other people who are seeing this as, how do I position myself in six months or 12 months time to have really taken advantage of this and made my business better as a result? So rather than going short term, I suggest going long term. We've had more demand in propane fitness without doing anything different with our strategies and our marketing, not because we've got a bodyweight program, not because we've got a COVID-19 COVID panic survival fitness guide, just because we've been doing marketing, positioning ourselves and our message with people. We've built an audience and some followers and some brand equity. And we also have some marketing funnels that work, right? So when suddenly people are paying more attention to online coaching, they're interested in the people who are legitimately doing online coaching and doing it properly, rather than the people who are getting something together that clearly looks a bit rushed and a bit frantic, to be honest. By all means, offer a bodyweight program, offer something that takes advantage of the current situation and help people as much as you can. But I don't think that's a viable online business, to be honest. And I don't think those people will still be doing this in months to come or when the current situation has changed. Rather than that, get a proper strategy in place. Treat it like a proper business. Don't rush things, do it properly, come up with a proper marketing message, a proper marketing pro process and strategy, and a program that's actually gonna be able to handle clients going forward. And then this time next year, you'll be a way better coach and your business will be way more sustainable and far less fragile as a result. Use this urgency in the spare time to invest time researching into that, looking into that, but don't necessarily just view it as just because everybody is doing live streams of workouts, that's what I have to do. That's what all your competition are doing. Those are the mistakes that they're making. Don't make the same ones. If instead you set the wheels in motion for an online business that's gonna be around in two, three, five, ten 10 years to come, then you've really seen some benefits and found a real silver lining from the situation and it may change your business forever. You may finally be able to get the online coaching arm of your business up and running and it may even surpass your offline arm. Now, obviously this is just advice and I realize it's super easy to say, build a strategy, um, 
you know, do things properly, take things seriously, come up with a strategy that's going to work. And you might be sat there thinking, Johnny, I have no idea how to even begin. If you're in that position, we have a free resource for you. It's always been a free resource. We've not changed it. But the free resources linked below. Um, it's basically the case study that walks through the, the business model we use in Propane Fitness and the strategies that we've used since day one to help us move in the right direction. So even if all you do is apply some of that free stuff and you don't have to necessarily work this formally, I think you'll get a lot out of it when you have time now to really sit and think about it and, and put a plan in place. Obviously, I'm not saying that people who are putting out bodyweight programs and things like that aren't financially benefiting from the current situation. You can think what you want of that as a, as a positive or a negative strategy. But I think it's a very short term, quite short sighted way of running your business. And I think consumers will see and remember that. So remember, everyone is looking for someone to lead them at the moment, your clients especially. Be that person, be proactive, have a plan that adapts. Do everything that you possibly can to keep your clients in their normal routine and be a source of positivity in a largely quite negative situation at the moment. Secondly, rather than seeing this as an opportunity to, to win some short term cash and potentially permanently damage your brand and your business, view it as an opportunity to permanently pivot and be in an amazing situation in six months time. Be, use this as an opportunity to blow your, blow your competition out of the water and build an online business that's really impressive and potentially changes your life forever by implementing some strategies that have some longevity to them. Build a proper marketing approach, a proper system that brings in leads and converts them into clients, and a program that's gonna last just beyond the relevance of, of the time when everyone's in quarantine. So hopefully this has helped. This is just based on some stuff that we have done with our clients in Propane Business. It's based on um, how we've approached the, the situation as a fitness business in Propane Fitness. Hopefully you've got something out of this. If you know someone who is a personal trainer, who is a coach, who needs to hear this stuff, comment below. If you'd like to get access to that case study that I mentioned, the link is below. If you are just listening to this and you think, I quite like to work with these guys to do this properly, you can apply to work with us inside of our Propane Business Program. Again, the link is just via the case study. You'll get an email with a link to apply to book a call and discuss how we might go about doing that. All right, guys, speak to you soon.